Hey, it's Andy. Today we are in my dining room. I have a protective um, tarp on my dining room table and I thought it would be fun to experiment with this table. So I'm going to attempt, attempt to create a textured look on the top of this table. I have no idea if it's going to turn out. It might turn out horribly. I don't know, but this is kind of how it is. I have an idea in my head and then I experiment with it. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. We're going to see, okay? Um, so once I start, I'm going to zoom in on the table so you can see what I'm doing and we'll just see. So I just want to do it on the top part of this table. I've already base coated it and I used cobblestone, which is from Heirloom Traditions Paint. All the paint that I use for my furniture is through Heirloom Traditions Paint. I am an ambassador with the company. Um, this is not sponsored, but they did send me product to use, but I always give my honest opinion. So this is a new paint that they just came out with, by the way. This is an all-in-one paint. Um, I don't know why I always want to say two-in-one paint. It's an all-in-one paint. It's an all-in-one paint. So that what that means is you don't have to wax it or seal it. It's all, it's done. You just put your paint, you just paint it and you're done. Okay, so if you if you were like me and you don't want to go through the steps of waxing and everything, you're going to love this. I just used it for the first time yesterday in this piece and I love the paint. It's very smooth. Oh my gosh, it goes on like butter. It's the, the consistency is a little like thick, I guess. Not really thick, but kind of, kind of thick. You know what I mean? Not, it's not really watery or anything like that. Um, you just apply it. You can apply it with a sponge or a paintbrush or a roller. Um, it has a slight odor to it compared to the regular paint, but nothing that's like, because I don't like things that are really stinky and smelly, but I'm just being honest with you. It has a very, like a slight odor to it, but I love it. I love that you can put it on and it's done. You know what I mean? You don't have to go back and do anything. So that's the paint I'm going to use. I'm going to use cobblestone and cashmere, the two colors I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is let me get my gloves on and by the way these are the i don't know if you can see in the camera that this is the container i love how it's clear now they've changed their packaging and i really like that um so i'm gonna get my gloves on i know you can't see me and actually we're gonna start zooming this camera in because you need to see what i'm doing and not look at me i think the i think the lighting is good so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take my true applicator sponge here. Let me see. I can't see in the viewfinder here. Okay. I'm going to take my true applicator sponge and I'm going to take my paint like I did with that other, if you saw my other technique, I'm just going to put it in the two colors like that. And I'm going to start sweeping this on it on my piece. I want to be careful so it's not dripping on the sides either because I really don't want to get this on the sides. So be careful, Annie. See, I'm saying that and I'm dripping on the sides. That's okay. That's okay. I can touch it up and fix it. It's no big deal. Okay, so because you want this, you want your rag to be, or your rag, you want your sponge to be wet, okay? And I want to put this on kind of thick. I think I'm just going to do it on half of the table because um, this is up so high, it's going to be hard for me to do both sides. So I'm going to just do it like this. I'm going to work kind of fast here and make it to the other side. I was trying to figure out like where to do this. It would be easier for everybody to see. And I thought that if I had this up high, it would be easier. I don't know. Maybe that was a dumb idea. Okay. I have to get the other side just a little bit more. So I just want to get it thick. And I don't care about exactly what it looks like right now. Okay. But this will look kind of cool on its own because this is what I did on my dining room table. Okay. Let me get right there. All right. So now this is where I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm going to take this broom. Okay. I just, this is a brand new broom. Hasn't been used on the floor. It's brand new. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to sweep it this way. And then I'm going to go back and sweep it this, that, the other way. I don't know what's going to happen. And it might be nothing. But we're going to kind of pressing it down kind of hard here. Look, now, pressing it down harder, definitely. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to go on the other side here. And I'm going to take where I left off and I'm going to press it down again. Okay, now 
I'm actually going to wipe my broom on my little tarp here a little bit, get some of the paint off, and now I'm going to go the other way, and I'm going to press down kind of hard. Okay, so how does that look? That's pretty cool. I never know what's going to happen, you know? Sometimes you do, that is really cool. Okay, I feel like I have to go over this again because I feel like it needs to be, oh my gosh, okay, better. Better. Now that time I went over it a little bit lighter. And let's see, do I have to do that on this side as well? No, actually, I like that. Okay, so let me get you closer so you can see it is. It'll zoom. Yay. Isn't that cool? I think this looks so freaking cool. And that's what it looked like before. So that's the before and after. So you can kind of see. Sorry, the camera's kind of shaky a little bit here. I'm holding it just so you can see. Better. So the only thing that I see in here that I'm not sure if I like is that one last little line. I wonder if I could fix it or if I'm going to mess it up. Let's just go for it. Oh, I like that even more because I'm blending it a little bit more. So do this once really wet. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it like that. Do, do, do I mind that? I don't know. Um, oh my God, I love it. Okay. So I'm going to do the other side. Okay guys, that is it. This is my finished product. And as soon as it dries, I will insert photos of it at the end of this video. And I'll have more details too on my blog, whitelacecottage.com. So this is it. I just wanted to share with you um, just an idea that popped in my head. And if you have an idea of like a fun painting technique, just go for it. Just do it and see what happens. Just get, you know, cheap furniture or scrap pieces of wood and play around with wood. You never know what cool ideas you will come up with. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you give it a big, big thumbs up. It helps my channel tremendously, and I thank you so much for doing that. I thank you so much for subscribing and supporting my channel. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you click that button below, hit subscribe, and you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and of course my blog. I'll leave all the links below. I'll leave the information below with the sponge and the paints. And I'll also link below the video in case you missed it on um, how to paint how I painted my dining room with the sponge. And if I remember, I'll try to link that too in the video as well. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon.